Ubiquiti just announced a device which supports Superlink. It's called USL Environmental. Thanks for Ubiquiti for sending me one. The left side is the all-in-one sensor. The right side is the Superlink Environmental. You can see they have very different designs. All-in-one sensor is more for indoor usage. Looks pretty good. And the new Superlink Environmental has pretty much industrial design. All-in-one sensor has additional parts for the door open close. If you need the water leak functionality, you need additional accessory. But for the new environmental, you have everything built in, including water leak detection. This new device shares a lot of functionalities as the existing all-in-one sensor. You can see the left side, it has sensors in front and at bottom. But for the new device, you can see the light sensor, temperature and the humidity sensor, and the two of the water sensors are in the front side. In the back, you have four more water sensors. In the lower side of the device, there's a round cover. If you remove it, you can see this 3.5 millimeter jack. It is used to connect external water leak probe. Now let's talk about battery. So you can see the new device uses CR123A and the all-in-one sensor also use the exact same battery. Then let's talk about mounting. For the all-in-one sensor, because it has the door sensor, many people will mount it on the wood frame. So double-sided sticky tape is provided. But for the Superlink environmental, it has built-in magnet so you can directly attach it to steel pole about the technology used in the connection for the all-in-one sensor it uses ble of course the frequency is 2.4 GHz. but for superlink is ubiquitous proprietary technology as i know the operating frequency for the us is within the 900 megahertz range and for eu is in the 800 megahertz range the max range for superlink claims to be two kilometers of course, that's the ideal situation, right? So let me do a real-world testing. I'm holding the two sensors, walking out of my house, away from the house, and you can see the signals for both sensors are weaker and weaker. Apparently, the all-in-one sensor doesn't update the signal frequency very frequently. You can see the all-in-one sensor got disconnected the first and the superlink environmental is still connected even though the signal is not strong now i'm about 100 meters away from my house of course there are multiple walls doors and vehicles between me and the house this real world testing is just for your information because every people's situation will be different in the remaining part of the video, I will compare the left side all-in-one sensor and the right side Superlink environmental. The all-in-one sensor has motion detection, open-close detection, audio alarm detection, but the right side Superlink environmental doesn't have these features. And about water leak detection, for the all-in-one sensor, if I enable it, you can see everything else is automatically deselected because for the water leak to work, you need a special accessory. Once you use that accessory, all other features won't work. That's why it's exclusive feature. But for the right side Superlink environmental, you can see you can select all of them together. And for water leak, you have built-in and external. So for external, that's the one you need the external probe to connect to the 3.5 millimeter jack. In this video, we are going to try this built-in leak detection. But for the left side or in my sensor, we are not going to try the water leak detection because I don't have the accessory. These two pictures show the water sensor adapter I just talked about. Let me start testing the right side Superlink environmental. You can see the two water leak 
sensors right let me just drop water on the right side one so you can see nothing's detected about water then let me drop water on the left side sensor right away on the sensor the two led lights are flashing and in the unify protect you can see the water leak warning is on this makes sense right next let me test the temperature sensor i put these two sensors side by side in my server room let me switch off the air conditioning for the server room and you can see the temperatures are climbing for both sensors they don't really have the exact reading but i don't have any authoritative reading so i don't know which one is more accurate they both work as expected after reaching the 84 fahrenheit threshold they are both showing red color Next, let me compare the humidity detection. In normal operation, they are both showing almost the same reading, right? Which means they are both working. However, if I force a dramatic change by using a humidifier, you can see only the right side superlink environmental can refresh the reading frequently. The left side or in one sensor simply doesn't change the reading about humidity. I believe it's just a display issue. Maybe for saving power, the or in one sensor is designed to update infrequently. But anyway, the right side superlink environmental works in a very responsive way for this testing. Next, let me test the light sensor. I find the new USL environmental has an issue when it comes to updating the light sensor reading. You can see I use a pretty big LED light. Left side or in one sensor can detect the light change, but there's nothing changed in the right side environmental. I decide to retest it by using my phone's LED light pointing directly to the light sensor. So you can see the result is the same. The all-in-one sensor can reflect the light change, but the environmental stays static. I believe it's just a software issue. Okay, let me summarize my first impressions. When I used my multiple all-in-one sensors in the past, the only thing I dislike was exactly the so-called all-in-one. For example, if you use it as a door open close sensor, you may not want to use it as a water leak sensor, right? So all-in-one sounds good, but in reality, in most cases, it simply means wasting your money. And the device has to be bigger because it has so many functionalities you may never use. So I really like the new Superlink environmental. It has the exact functionalities I want to use because of its shape, the way to mount it, and the Superlink technology. It has a lot of advantages over the all-in-one sensor. Okay, this is the end for the video. Thanks for watching.